President Moon in Jakarta. The South Korean leader will have a summit meeting with his Indonesian counterpart and push for stronger business ties between the two nations. U.S. President Trump in China. Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping are set for a crunch summit in Beijing as the world closely watches. North Korea will likely dominate talks. The South Korean government rolls out plans to support small businesses that struggle to cope with the nation's rising labor costs. We have the details. President Moon Jae-in is in Indonesia on a three-day state visit. The South Korean leader has a number of times referred to Indonesia as a key partner in various fields throughout his young presidency. Our chief Blue House correspondent Moon Gon Young is traveling with the president and she joins us live from Jakarta. Gon Young, fill us in. Well, Tyron, this is the second day of South Korean President Moon Jae-in's three-day state visit to this uh, Southeast Asian country. And the first leg of his eight-day three-nation tour of this region. Now, earlier this morning, the president kicked off the day at the National Cemetery, paying respect to the uh, independence fighters and the fallen heroes of Indonesia who sacrificed their lives fighting for their country. Last night, as soon as he landed in Jakarta, the South Korean leader and First Lady Kim Jong-suk hosted a banquet for Korean nationals living in this country. There, Mr. Moon vowed to speed up efforts to expand South Korea's diplomatic horizon beyond the major four countries, uh, namely the U.S., China, Japan, and Russia, in order to make the most out of South Korea's geopolitical advantage bridging the continent and the sea. Now, referring to Indonesia as a key member of the ASEAN, like you said, Mr. Moon added that, uh, that his trip to this country makes his very first state visit as president. Uh, cooperation between Seoul and Jakarta have expanded in size and across sectors over the years. Today, almost 3,000 Korean firms are doing business in this market, and Indonesia is the only country working with South Korea in developing submarines and next-generation fighter jets. Now, he pledged uh, customized support for the Korean community here, which was uh, founded a few decades ago, mostly by families of businesses that have tapped into the market. Tan? Now, what dominates the president's itinerary today, the second day of his three-day visit? Right. Uh, Mr. Moon's itinerary today highlights his Indonesia trip. Um, in just a while, the president has a huge forum with business leaders of both countries. Uh, we cannot yet release the attendees list just yet, but I can tell you some big names are in the house. Um, not only big names, but also smaller ones with great potentials are here as well for opportunities to tap into each other's markets. Now, what I can tell you coming in just now is that that South Korea has just signed a 1.9 billion U.S. dollars worth of a railway project, uh, MOU. They have inked the MOU with Indonesia just now. They have more of those to come, so you can imagine how big of a size this new economic cooperation will be. Uh, but here, the president is expected to deliver a keynote speech, which will outline his new southward policy. Remember, he disclosed his northward policy in Vlasic in early September, so this will be one that complements that just south of South Korea. Now, after that, Mr. Moon will travel to the presidential palace, which is a, over an hour's drive away from the Indonesian capital for a state welcoming ceremony, a one-on-one -on -one with his Indonesian counterpart, uh, President Joko Widodo, expanded bilateral summit and a joint news conference. So today will definitely highlight Mr. Moon's visit here, and the two leaders are expected to discuss economics. Not only that, but a uh, co-defense project as well as uh, cooperation in terms of countering North Korea's nuclear problem. Uh, I'll make sure to keep our viewers updated throughout the day. Time? Our chief Blue House correspondent in Jakarta for us this afternoon. Thank you. President Trump